you feel confident about enforcing the regulations for children's car seats and booster seats? Do you know when a child can use an adult seatbelt? The tips in this video, the accompanying wallet card, and recommended websites can help you. Parents do care about enforcement. You have the ability to influence the way they keep their children safe in the car. To begin, the four stages of restraining children in cars are rear-facing car seats, forward-facing car seats, booster seats, and seat belts. In all four Atlantic provinces, children must use a rear-facing car seat until they reach a minimum of age one and they must also weigh at least 22 pounds. Rear-facing is the safest position for a child in a collision, so using the seat beyond the minimums is highly encouraged. Children can stay rear-facing until they weigh 40 pounds in some seats. When a child has outgrown the larger rear-facing seats, they use a forward-facing seat with harness straps until they weigh at least 40 pounds. Some forward-facing seats can be used until a child weighs 65 pounds. From there, they move into a booster seat. They must weigh at least 40 pounds and should be old enough to understand how to sit in a booster. Children should use a booster seat until they reach the height of 4 feet 9 inches. A child is ready for a seat belt when they are 4 feet 9 inches tall, they can sit up straight and their knees bend over the edge of the seat, the lap belt is low on their hip bones, and the shoulder strap is between the neck and the shoulder. The law in each province is slightly different. The driver cannot be ticketed for failure to use a booster seat if the child has reached one of these milestones. Age 9 or 4 feet 9 inches in Nova Scotia, age 9 or 80 pounds or 4 feet 9 in New Brunswick and Newfoundland and Labrador, and age 10 or 80 pounds or 4 feet 9 inches in Prince Edward Island. The law for each province can be found at childsafetylink.ca. The law also states that the car seat, booster seat or seat belt must be used correctly according to the manufacturer's instructions. What does correct use look like? The main things to look for are, is the child in the right type of seat for their age, weight and height? Is the seat tightly installed in the vehicle? Has the shoulder strap been pulled all the way out to engage the locking feature? Has the belt been pulled tight? Does the seat move side to side more than one inch? If the seat has been installed with the universal anchorage strap, has it been pulled tight? Are the harness straps snug and the chest clip at the child's armpit level? If it is a forward-facing seat, is the top tether strap being used? If a booster seat is being used, does the child weigh at least 40 pounds? Should this older child be in a booster seat? So what is our goal? To know the key points about what a correctly installed and adjusted car seat looks like so that you can educate parents and when necessary enforce the regulations. The following resources are available to help you. Wallet cards with the regulations for your province are available as a quick reference. Child Safety Link hosts a toll-free car seat information line. The video, Kids That Click, on the website safekidscanada.ca provides more detail. If this topic interests you, there is a three-day course called the Children's Restraint Systems Technician Course that will provide much more information about how to correctly install and adjust car seats. The website carsafetyandkids.ca has tips on organizing a successful roadside checkpoint that focuses on child safety. Contact Child Safety Link for more information and to be connected to trained car seat technicians in your area. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. We look forward to assisting you. Child Safety Link, connecting you to safety.